Hey guys, Ironson Auditor back at you. Um, figured we'd go through a little bit of the statistics today, show you a little bit more of uh, some actual auditing here in the town of Ironton. And uh, one more time, I'm going to turn it over to a citizen here who has a little more knowledge than I do and easier. To, she's It's easier for her to read than it is for me. So I'm going to let her do that for you. Hi, everyone. Okay, so please note before we start this that some of these statistics um, that we have for each of the slides are not known for the years 2020 and 2021. So we are providing you with the data that we know. In 2017, there were 32 drug cases. In 2016, we dropped, I'm sorry, 2018, we dropped down to 16 drug cases, which is half. Then we went back up in 2019 to 24, and there were two reported drug cases in 2020. I do not have statistics for 2021. All right, for guilty pleas, again, there is no data after 2018. Guilty pleas, we had 10 in 2017 and 13 in 2018. When we're looking at the overdose statistics for the city of Ironton, Ohio, in 2017, we had 90 people overdose and six completed um, and are no longer with us. They have passed. In the year 2018, there were 60 overdoses and 60 passed. In the year 2019, there were 17 overdoses and two resulted in death. In 2020, there were 51 total overdoses. 10 of those resulted in death. In the year 2021, we had 70 total overdoses with 16 resulting in death. And this is a picture of how overdose deaths have changed in the counties of Ohio. Um, we went from being 13th ranked in 2017, and this is circled again by the pin that you can see, to now Lawrence County is ranked number one in overdose death rates. Um, yeah, there, there's nothing more you could say about that stat. Okay, um, so for IPD, this is vehicle impounding statistics. And again, we only have three years. For the year 2017, there were a total of 296 vehicles towed. 33 of those were auctioned, because I'm following the blue. 33 of those were auctioned off and 119 were released. Then in the year 2018, there were 261 vehicles towed. 74 of those were auctioned and 128 of those vehicles of the 261 were released. In the year 2019, there were 297 vehicles towed, 77 of them were auctioned and 205 were released. So this is the Ironton Police Department traffic reports. And again, we only have three years of data. Um, for 2017, there were 681 total reports. In 2018, there were 750. And then in 2019, it went back down to 638. We have remained fairly consistent with crash reports. In 2017, there were 253. 2018 had 247 crash reports. And 2019 had 233 crash reports. And in the city of Ironton, the total arrests, there were 973 total arrests in 2017. There were 940 total arrests in 2018. And in 2019, there were 977 total arrests. All right, so this is a copy of, or actually data from the Ironton crimes and or arrests. Um, 29, I'm sorry, in 2017, for domestic arrests, there was 29 domestic arrests. There were 32 in 2018, and there were 38 in 2019. For property crimes, in 2017, there were 31 arrests. In 2018, there was 18, and in 2019, there were 26 arrests. For physical assaults and or any assault, there were seven in 2017. There were 10 in 2018, and in 2019, there were a total of 16 assaults. Again, there, are, there is no data or there is incomplete data for 2020 and 2021. Disorderly conduct in 2017 was 20, in 2018 was 41 incidents, and in 2019, there were 51. For resisting arrest and or assaulting a police officer in 2017, there were 16 
And in 2018 and 2019, there were 26 each of those years. Again, we do not have statistics or and we have incomplete statistics for 2020, 2021. Uh, arrest warrants are our highest numbers, as you can see by the bars. In 2017, we had 204 arrest warrants. In 2018, we had 228 arrest warrants. And in 2019, we had 271 arrest warrants. Now, these are the total number of calls for service from the Ironson Police Department. And again, we do not have complete data for 2020 and or 2021. In 2017, we had 11,174 total number of calls for IPD service. In 2018, we had 9,868 total calls for IPD service. And in 2019, we had 10,026 total number of calls for IPD service. Again, we do not have statistics or we only have incomplete statistics for 2020 and 2021. And I'm sure that when we get those stats in, we could redo this video and show the updated and current information. Back to you, Terry. All right, guys, I want to say one thing about the overdose and overdose deaths. Uh, living here in the tri-state, we, we do not have a hospital here in Ironton. We have an emergency room and an urgent care, but we don't have an actual hospital. Uh, the closest hospitals are in Ashland and in Huntington. And so if the EMS were to come and pick someone up um, and take them out of state, they were not counted in the statistics. Those are only the ones that uh, uh, we were directly involved in inside the city. So if the EMS picked them up, uh, uh, an overdose victim and took them to uh, the hospital out of state, then they would not be counted in here. So those numbers are actually a lot higher than we see, just so you know. And uh, that's going to conclude this one, guys. I guess Ironton Auditor out, and we'll catch you on the next run.